Hey guys, welcome to Sakos Tech Spot, and in this video I'm going to be showing you a few customizations that I like to do on my phone and thought I would share with you guys. So this is going to be a fairly lengthy video, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these into segments for the different applications I'll be talking about and some of the different features. So uh, I'm just going to jump right into it, and I'm going to have you guys first, if you want to download these applications, uh, you can do it yourself, but first we're going to download three applications. Uh, it's going to be Pi Control, Nova Launcher, and Zuper Widget. Now, uh, I do have the paid version of both um, Nova Launcher and Zuper Widget, so uh, you do not need to have the free, the paid version, but the free version will have some uh, features disabled, but you will have most of the features, so you can go ahead and get the free versions for now and see if you like it. Yeah, that's that. Also, I want to uh, let you guys know this is mostly informational. Um, if you guys do decide to uh, t tinker with your phones and uh, mess around with them, and you end up breaking it, it is not my fault. I'm not responsible for any of that. Sorry, guys. But uh, it's, just, it's not going to be too catastrophic if you just follow my direction. So those three applications, once again, are going to be Pi Control, Nova Launcher, and Zuper Widget. This is Zuper Widget. This is what the icon looks like. I do have the Pro version, but the free version will get us just as many features that uh, we need for the time being. And here is Nova Launcher. Uh, go ahead and get this or the paid version or the free version. Uh, another thing you want to get with Nova Launcher is uh, right here. Uh, there is Tesla unread for Nova. This is basically just, it shows the little badge next to the icon saying you have missed calls, missed texts, etc. You need that. And also the last thing was Pack Control. Here's Pack Control. Um, as you can see, I'm using it right now. It's really, really handy. And once you get used to using it like that, you'll never want to go back to having the just the regular keys on the bottom. I mean, also it saves a lot of screen real estate. As you can see, I have more room on my screen because my keys are not uh, occupying the pixels on the bottom. So uh, anyways, let's get through the, uh, those three applications and I'm gonna show you one quick tweak we're gonna make or you can make, this is completely optional, but I highly recommend it just because it makes the phone feel so much snappier. Before I go ahead and show you guys that, uh, let me say that I am running an unofficial build of Android. This is a uh, Chroma OS for the Nexus 6. And uh, it has a couple of extra features that I like to use, but it's, I'm not going to show you guys too much uh, of that just because uh, I don't want to require rooting or um, uh, installing an operating system on here. I'm going to show you as much stock uh, tweakage as possible. So um, if you have developer options enabled, you do not need to do this. But if you do not have de developer options here, go to About Phone. And at your build number, doesn't matter what your build number is, just go ahead and tap it several times. After you click seven times, it enables the developer options. So go ahead and do that. And uh, as you can see, mine says, no need, I'm already a developer. If we go back here to developer options, uh, let's scroll down. And we wanna look at the animation scales. So there's three here. We have Windows animation, or window animation, not Windows, uh, transition animation, and animated duration scale. So. Um, essentially these control the different speeds of the different animations. It's kind of uh, intuitive of what they are. So uh, I have mine at 0.7. Now, 0.7 does not mean it's slower, it means it's faster. It's 0.7 times the speed. So um, for instance, let me show you an example that's easier to see. So right now I have the transition scale at 0.7, so this is faster. Um, at 1.0 it's obvious that it, that's one times the scale, that's normal speed. So if I go to 2x, it would only be logical that this is twice as slow. So um, here's a transition. It's going to transition from this screen to the home screen, and it's going to be twice as slow. See how slow that was? Let me show you again. Or actually, it's going to show you as we go into the settings and see how slow it pops up. It's just twice as slow. So uh, go ahead, and you could choose any speed you want, really. Uh, it's completely up to you. I mean, you could have this as 0, and it's just going to be like super snappy. You're not going to see any animation. It's just going to go straight to everything. And uh, some people like it that way, but I like seeing the cool little animations. That's just my preference. So go ahead and set that anywhere if you want. I highly recommend it because it makes your phone feel a lot faster. Now there are other settings in here, but uh, I mean, I don't want to recommend messing with anything else just because you can um, destroy your phone or your Android device. So um, for the time being, let's just leave it at that. 
And I'm gonna start my next video talking about Nova Launcher, which we're gonna be in for a while. So uh, get ready for that one. I'll leave a link to that video here and in the description. Thanks for watching guys. And uh, if you wanna follow along and make sure you don't miss my upcoming videos, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Uh, if you found this helpful and you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, share it around and let other people know how to customize their phone and we can all have our own unique phone.